destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then...
Enough already! Just let me cut you down! You can't cut your connection to me! Just lunch! This connection that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection to you is the most irritating one of all! After fighting Obito, Madara, and Kaguya, Dad ends up clashing with Sasuke? It's fate. That's all I can call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal, but he fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up. The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon fly to the entire world. By giving and receiving support, building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his ninja way. Over and over. Why do you keep doing this? What's wrong with you? What are you? Your friend. Let's finish this. This battle. All of our battles. It's time. Are you ready? Sure. They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remain. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest, here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but... I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like... my dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key... to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared. But it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now. 
but I want this child to walk with him in light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories. Resurrect here and now. <laughs>